Hey guys, and welcome back to Adobe Start With Stock. I'm Kat Tat, and welcome to my three-part video series. Now, in part one, I'm gonna show you guys how I design hometown tattoos. People come from all over the country to get tattoos to represent their city for me. I personally am from the Windy City, Chicago, so I'm gonna show you guys how I put together a dope Shy City tattoo using the skyline and some other factors of Chicago. So I'm gonna start with searching for some really cool images of Chicago on Adobe Stack. And there's so many amazing images of this city from the skyline to the bean to the train. There's just so many amazing images of Chicago. So I'm just gonna select a few. I'm gonna create a Chicago folder uh, through Adobe Stock. So I have all my images that I wanna use for this tattoo all organized and right there for me to begin layering. And I chose an arm for this canvas. A forearm is a great place for a skyline tattoo because it's uh, such a flat surface so I can make sure that I can get all that detail that's in the Chicago buildings, the windows, all of that. So I'm just placing the image big enough so that I can actually fit the images that I wanna use. Then I'm gonna create a new layer and start with the skyline image that I chose. So I chose this image because I just really, really like the, the scenery of it. I love the nighttime view and the reflective lights, the water, the shadows. There's just so much potential that I can do with this image of Chicago. So I'm gonna make sure that I have it the right size. You see, I can't see through it. So um, I'm gonna change this mode to multiply so that I can actually see where this fits on the arm. So once I have it where I want it and the right size, I'm gonna place the image. And then I wanna get rid of all the excess, everything that doesn't fall on the arm. So I'm gonna take my select tool and just crop out all this extra side stuff that you won't see with the tattoo and get rid of all of that. I'm gonna erase these edges. I want my client to be able to see as close as possible what this tattoo is gonna look like on their arm. So if I'm actually dealing uh, you know, with a client, I would take a picture of their arm and use whatever photo I have and create the image. So I'm getting close enough. I wanna get as close as possible to these edges. And there we go. Now, I am a black and gray artist mainly. I do use color sometimes if I'm doing like flowers, or um, you know something just really, really bright and vibrant. But with something like a skyline tattoo, I want to make this image black and gray. So I'm gonna turn it into black and white, and then I'm gonna play with the values. One of the main things that I like with my tattoo designs is contrast. I love for my pieces just to have a wide range of contrast. So I'm just bumping up the darks, bumping up the lights, and making it just so that it, it's really vibrant. I like for them to stand out so that they, you know, stand out from a distance and you can tell exactly what it is if you're standing across the room. I'm gonna create a new layer. I like my tattoos to always have a nice border, a top and a bottom piece. I don't want this image to just kind of float. So another image that I thought would be cool to represent Chicago would be uh, the train line. I've done this tattoo before. People will get the the L or, you know, just the different transits around Chicago. Um, it's really popular. And I know that I can use this image to create a nice border for the bottom of this tattoo. So again, I'm gonna go turn it see-through so I can see exactly where I want it to place. I want the focus of this train to be the front of the train. That's where all the cool detail is. So I'm gonna move the front of the train to the center, um, just a little off center. Composition is very important. I want the piece to have balance. And again, I'm gonna get rid of everything that I don't need. Get rid of this here too up top. Don't want to mess with those lights and that water because that's gonna be really, really nice detail once we turn this into a tattoo. Move that over a little bit. And now I'm going to erase the edges. Now that I got that, I'm gonna soften my eraser because I like um, soft edges for the tattoo. I like for everything to have a really smooth gradient. I don't want everything to have like a super, super hard cut off. So I'm using my soft eraser to kind of blur out these edges. 
and this will show me that when I go to tattoo it, when it has that soft edge, I know that I'm gonna use a really, really soft gray. I'm gonna turn this image black and white to match the skyline. You want everything to match. And I'm gonna play with this one as well, bump up the contrast so we can really, really see those shadows. Shadows and highlights are what make a tattoo great, <laughs> especially when you are a black and gray artist like me. And I'm gonna add a new layer because I want more shadows. So I'm gonna add a shadow behind this train because I want that image to really, really stand out and jump out um, at the bottom of the piece. So I'm just adding the shadow behind here. Shading is one of my favorite parts of tattooing. What well, is my favorite part of tattooing? That is really what makes a tattoo a tattoo is the shading. And there we have a nice Chicago skyline tattoo. I think this is a great representation of the city. I would actually love to do this piece. And there we have it. So that wraps up the first part of my Adobe Stock three-part series. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to tune into my next video. I'm gonna show you guys how I create a really, really colorful and pretty flower tattoo. See you guys next video.